at a client get a breakthrough by thinking of one of the questions that I asked in the session and then mm -hmm. process by laughing. So in that case, he actually, I, I mean, I didn't tell him to think about the session or not think about the session, but he was, and it was interesting because the question that I, that I asked in the session, it didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. It was only until after the session that he got a breakthrough thinking about the question. Yep. So in that case though, he's actually reflecting on the session, which actually led to a breakthrough. Yeah. Um, but you didn't that can happen, right? Yeah, but you, yeah, absolutely. But you didn't tell him to do that. That's what's important. Okay. If you would have said, please go home and think about this question. What are you now doing? You're forcing something. But remember, if the resources or the result they need or whatever they need to do with the process is to think about it, that's fine. Because that's just the way it is. And even though we're trying to not get clients to think about it, most of them will do anyway. What I don't want them to do is for us to say, and don't ever say this to a client, don't say to a client, don't think about what we talked about today. Because what are they going to do? Like the pink elephant thing, they're going to go do it. So you're basically indirectly saying, go do something to keep yourself busy. They happen to do it. You can't avoid that. But I just don't want you forcing them to do it. Gotcha. Makes sense? Like coaches will say, please write down your thoughts over the next 30 days. You're now telling a client what to do. We don't. That's not our job because now we're interrupted. If a client does feel like doing it and says, Justin, this is what I'll be doing. Great. That's what I wanted you to do. Sort of let them do whatever they want to do. Don't, don't judge their resource. Does that make sense, guys? Any questions on the processing? The